I think my plug is an alien. alien. Bitch, I'm toting hammers like Arabian. What's up, my man? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, but then sometimes it goes quiet, like you cut out. Are you on Wi-Fi? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. So, before I let you introduce yourself, I will introduce ourselves. Uh, we are a platform which promotes uh, underground artists and music all around the world. And we try to give some credit to new talents and styles coming out like you. And we are glad to welcome you here, Balancey Baby. So let's uh, let's talk about you. Tell us more about you. Uh, where you come from? When the music became a thing for you and shit. Yeah, so I'm from Hawthorne, California. So yeah, it's just like south side of LA. Yeah. Um, uh, I started making music like three years ago. Okay. Yeah, like three years ago. Three years ago. Uh, at first, like my first year, I was making music like at home, like on the laptop and shit. Uh, now I go to the studio and shit, so it's been like three years. Uh, yeah, how I got into rapping for real is, I mean, like I just really like, you know, what I'm saying I fuck with music like my whole life and shit. I just didn't know how to fuck to like. Okay, like, so you fuck. Before... You fuck with music uh, all your life. Uh, who are your favorite artists? Do you have any favorite artists? Maybe that inspires you. All right, like all right. So you're not asking who the, who the greatest. Like you just ask me who inspired me, right? Yeah. All right, I will have to say Drake. Okay. X, you know X X X sent us. Yeah X yeah. Yeah, he, he's he's one. Of the, he's in there. So Drake X. Okay. Uh, and those are really the only two who really like really made me want to like you know what I'm saying start doing music. So I'll post that on the two people. Okay, okay. Yeah. Because uh, I've been listening to music. Music is lit. Uh, uh, I like it. And uh, um, to, according to you, what kind of music is your music? I can define it as a rage. Is that correct for you? Um, I, I mean, I have rage music, but the thing about me yeah. is my catalog is so, so versatile. Like, you could click, like, you you could go to my, you could go to all my songs, and you could click like four, three different ones, and they all gonna sound different. Yeah, but I, I wouldn't really like put myself under one category, so that's why I'm like, I'm like. I'm I'm everything really. I'm a, I'm every genre. So. Yeah, you're versatile, as you said. I understand because yeah, yeah. I just uh, said you uh, rage, but that's right. You versatile. You I I listen to a lot of your songs and uh, they don't sound like the same all the time. So yeah, you're right. Um, you yeah. your name is uh, Balenciaga Baby. Why Balancey Baby? Is it because of Balenciaga? I can see your, your shirt now. Balancey Baby. Balancey Baby, why? Yes. Uh, well, Balancey is my, like, okay. my favorite designer brand. Like, it's always been. It. And then I just threw Baby at the end, and then boom, Balancey Baby. Okay, that's why. Right. Okay. <laughs> so, I'll make your choice now. Uh, if you have to choose between Spotify and SoundCloud, what do you pick? Like to listen to music or to like to upload music on? Just to to listen to music and the the platform you you feel the most maybe uh, close to you. Not to upload, just to to listen and to listen to some artists and to put music on. I feel like SoundCloud a lot. I don't lie. I listen to SoundCloud a lot. Yeah. Because SoundCloud, there's like a lot of uh, under, like there's a lot of like underground songs 
Yeah, and that's like, that's right. You find on Spotify. Yeah, sure. Yeah, and I feel like that's a big, and I mean SoundCloud's free, so I feel like SoundCloud's gonna have a big. You know I'm saying it's free stuff. So. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Do you have any any project on the way at the moment? Yeah, well, October two. So, well, October is a tape that I dropped. You already dropped it, right? Last year. Ah, you, you dropped the, the, the October 1 no, already. No, no. Yeah, October, yeah well, October 1 I dropped last year, but I only dropped October on October, that's the thing. So it's like, I might drop October 2 if it's ready. If it's not ready, then I might have to drop it next year, but I'm gonna still drop other shit. But like, October is like one of those things that I only drop on them. Okay. Uh, where do you see you yourself sure. in the future? In few years, maybe I, I'll say in five years. With the fan base that I want already, uh, selling out shows. Okay. Performing out Rolling Loud, cause that's, that's one thing I really want to do. Perform out Rolling Loud. Okay. Cause I already have my performance experience. So you want to be uh, like mainstream? Hopefully. Uh, so yeah. I, I heard you about uh, Rolling Loud and uh, selling yeah. out all, all of the tickets. Can you repeat the, this part? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So where I see myself like in two years. Yeah. Uh, selling out shows, doing songs with like my favorite artists like at the moment. Um, performing out Rolling Loud. And uh, in two years, hopefully, hopefully having 500,000 Uh, or a hundred thousand monthly listeners that that would be that be straight right there for real. That would be dope for real, for real. I wish you uh, all uh, all of this. Um, now, okay. Uh, what is your purpose making music? Do you have any purpose? Uh, something you want to you do? Something you want to reach? You always told me, but maybe a oh. purpose. Yeah. For, cause you know what I'm saying. For an example, I use X an example. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. I was going through like a really dark moment in my life. Couple, like you know, couple, couple, couple years ago back, and his music, that shit, that shit really, it's really a remedy. You know what I'm saying. Like music really helps people from sure. depression, suicide, all that shit, bro. So that that explains my versatility. Why I'm not just rapping, you know, on LA shit or just rapping about all this shit, like. Like as an artist, if you show your emotion, you could have people connect with you more. So, you know what I'm saying? I just want to impact the world and, you know what I'm saying? Like, hopefully one day, you know what I'm saying? You know, when you get money, you want to help other people type shit. So, yeah, sure. I just want to be in that position. Okay. Thanks, lives and shit. That's great. That's great. Uh, I want to ask you do you have any messages for any artist you want to start a career like you? What could you recommend? Uh, for any artist out there that's trying to start doing music, yeah, and shit, don't put yourself in a box. Okay. You have to invest in yourself. If you are too scared to invest in yourself, or you don't want to invest in yourself, then you don't really want to do this. You know what I'm saying? If you don't want to put the money into something, then you don't really love it like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just quit. Don't, don't even rap if you don't want to do that. And a big, a big recommendation for some people is if you're recording at home and it's not sounding cool, I suggest you just go to the studio real quick. You know what I'm saying? Spend like 200, get like two, three hours with an engineer. And if you want to get better at making music, you got to keep recording songs for real. Okay. And it's not hard. This industry is not for the weak, for real. It's just a lot of mental pain, it's a lot of struggle, it's a lot, it's a lot of everything, so you gotta be ready for that shit, for real. Okay, okay. Uh, I think we can wrap it up. Uh, thank you, uh, Bessa Baby, thank you. That was a pleasure to have you with us. Appreciate it, bro. I appreciate that, bro. Appreciate it. Uh, uh. That was dope.